So you've rented or purchased our MTS-1 tool press. Let me show you how to use it. Primarily, you're gonna to wanna to use it to press the bottom bracket into the bike. You have some dies to select from, okay? These are what we want you to use. This is what comes, one of these kind, are gonna come with the bottom bracket when you purchase it. We're getting rid of those, okay? Because this steel die takes the place of this plastic piece, and this takes the place of this, so there's no reason to use those, and it will reduce the overall stack. To do the installation, if you have one of our bottom bracket modules, such as BB86 dub or 30 millimeter, BB92 dub or 30 millimeter, there are several. It will say on the outside of the module whether or not it has a 4030 bearing, a 6805, or a 6806. Those are the only three bearing sizes that we use. You can install the dies very easily by going in from the, the strike nut end. The 4030 bearing is going to interface with that just like that. You notice how this is only touching the outer race of the bearing. There's an undercut in here for a good purpose because we don't have, we never want to push on the inner race of the bearing. But we have the combination die does the 6805 bearing size just like that. All right, once again, only pushing on the outer race of the bearing. On the inverse here, we have the 6806, once again, only pushing on the outer race of the bearing. If you are pushing on the inner race of a bearing, you are destroying it, okay? So when you're using these tools, make sure to select the proper die. As this is screwing in to the standoff bushing on the other side, this needs to be able to rotate freely. There is the 6806 side, or on both of these dies, that fits right down inside of here, and it locks into that that way it keeps it from rotating. And that way you can get a firm grip on this as this is threading in. The reason why we give you two dies of each size is for bearing installations when you're doing services later. But when you're doing an installation, you're only gonna use a single die free spinning on the drive nut end, and then you are going to use the 6805-6806 combination die that is locked into the standoff bushing on the other side for the install. The MTS-1 tool also works for module extraction, which we will show in a separate video.